All right, I'm attempting to uh, drill a hole in my IBC to run city power to it. I don't think I'll get that done before I leave, but at least I'll get the stub out in before it rains heavily today, later in the day. One to two inches of rain. So I'm gonna get this thing installed. It's gonna be a trick to hold it, to hold the thing from the uh, top. Like maybe I'll, I don't know, figure it out. This is gonna be a real test here. I've, uh, I've duct taped a pair of vice grips to a stick in an attempt to hold this guy. This could turn into a big failure, but uh, I'm hoping this will work. And I can reach in with another stick and pop the vice grips loose. I just don't want it to break loose from the vice grips before it's tight. This is the point of no return for sure. Okay, let's see what happens. All right, my vice grips fell off before I was before I was able to get it completely tightened off. I was afraid to crush the the uh, float valve by tightening the vice grips too much. So somehow I'm going to try and grab hold of the threads on the outside of the uh, connector there. Yeah, put a couple hoses together. Now I need to put some major water in the IBC. Now what should happen is it should start flowing. Well, I may not get any water out at all. Uh-oh, here comes the rain. Oh, God. Okay, let's see what happens here. I need to get water up to make sure this seal is not leaking. And I don't, I have my reservations. Let's see what happens. All right, collecting rainwater. It's raining like crazy, but, um, I was able to push down on the valve from the inside with a stick and it allowed water to go into that 90 degree fitting so I know the valve is still operational and it's working as advertised and there is no leak outside so I guess uh, innovation and luck got me through this. So now at least I'm set up to, uh, to rent a trencher and get some pipe in before I leave. I don't know if it'll get done before I leave, but I sure hope it does. Anyway, it's a stack of buckets that I have to reach up to. Man, this is gonna be one monster system. It's a pretty decent fit. These are the three gallon, and uh, they're a little bit on the short side but um, I'm gonna put a little peat moss in the bottom of these buckets for, to help with the wicking. Or at least I'm gonna put peat moss in the, in the cup. I'm getting ready to set up for my sideboards to keep the uh, buckets from blowing away. So measure once, cut many. <laughs> put a block so on the saw so I can uh, get precise measurements off of this rough sawn rustic wood. I need uh, two sizes because when I mount them I'm going to offset them just by a little bit by an inch or so and so it'll it'll look more rustic. Um, so I need 110 roughly of each size. So I'm cutting away hopefully it doesn't rain on me. And that's where I'm at right now just finished cutting the other 110 boards one inch longer than all of these and so I'll alternate them see how it looks I hope it looks okay rustic that's what I'm shooting for rustic all right I have a board temporarily clamped to the base so all I have to do is set the the boards up there and nail them off and of course you know, the simplest things turn into nightmares. I had to pull my nail gun apart because I had a nail go sideways on me uh, before I ever got started. So, 
Never fails. Oh, I think it looks kind of rustic. I like it. It probably needs a board, you know, to tie them all together. Because there's some slop and there's not a lot, there's not a lot to support it on the bottom side. But uh, I don't have time. Hopefully they'll hang out for three months and not warp out too bad. They're pretty dry. So, all right, halfway there, almost. I have completed the rustic look. Now when it all weathers, it'll look really rustic. <laughs> well, I'm getting tuckered out. I've only mixed two wheelbarrow loads and uh, got 11 buckets done and I am wore out. Not from all this, but just the whole day of everything. So we'll see how this does. Uh, I'm going to keep going, but it's looking pretty good. Hope you're right, Larry. Today <laughs> I readjusted my float on this system and um, then went to bed. Apparently it was going so slowly, you know, I thought it was done filling. Anyway, I have an overfill issue. <laughs> So I've knocked some boards off. I'm going to make this, uh, cut this out a little bit farther so I can reach in there easily and adjust it. I can adjust it, but not without disrupting the uh, float setting. So I need a clear shot at that thing. This kind of, but hey, this thing's working because all of my, all of my buckets are wet. Now, I don't know if it rained or not. I don't think it rained. Got some dew. Anyway, all right. Shoot. All right, I've, I've busted off the wood and I've drilled another hole and cut it out with the saw and drained a bunch of water out of it through the end cap. <laughs> I've got to get some water back in my tank so I can set the float bowl properly. Doggone it. I'll get a trench dug and try and get my fence done today as well. I'm trying to get my stub out hooked up. I'm digging, but there's a dang true tree root there. And the other side of the driveway is like digging rock. I mean, this clay is, I, I don't know what to say. It's, check this out, if I can do this. See that? I mean, uh, so that's about as deep as I'm gonna go. I'll probably get my uh, probably get my water pipe in by tonight. I hope. Well, we've tried just about everything out here to get this car out. <laughs> like I said, this used to be a junkyard out here and I'm not kidding. I started hitting parts on it with that trencher. Well, I depart tomorrow and of course it's going to rain. There's heavy rains just west of me. It's moving east. I'm trying to get this pipe glued up. Uh, right now I've got to drain the line. So I'm gonna have a soupy mess here. And I gotta get this thing done. Oh my God. I'm gonna be shoveling mud, I can tell already. So much to do, no time. I hired two helpers yesterday that were no-shows. So I'm way behind. I don't think I'll get the fence in, so the rabbits will enjoy a feast, it looks like. I don't know about getting these cans planted, but I am gonna have water. <laughs> One way or another, whether I'm out here in the rain or not. It's been raining, but I managed to get it all hooked up. I can't believe it. Got a pressure regulator, 
I think I may have a little bit of an issue with uh, putting a box over this thing, but we'll see how that plays out. I'm not gonna bury this end. I'm in a real pinch to get all this done. I'm making a little list for the people that are gonna take care of this thing, just so they know what they're eating. Uh, my timer just went off for the glue drying on my pipe, so I'm gonna turn that on and check it for leaks. I'm making my little poop cupcakes, um, and I'm putting them in the bottom. I've already got some of these planted. Um, I ran out of time the other night, and that's all the bags I got filled. I still have all that to mix and fill. But uh, what I'm doing is making these little peat moss cupcakes. I'm snapping them into the bottom and then I'm flattening it out so the bottom of the bag has something to touch. Okay, and then uh, after I get it all planted, I'll put mulch in it. Anyway, uh, my help is coming so I might get a fence today. I need to haul butt though. Just turned on the water. The tank's filling through the float valve. Hopefully this all works. And I did not have, I forgot to buy a shutoff valve for this. So when I get back, I'll cut this pipe and put a shutoff valve in here. Actually, it's just straight peat moss. And I pack it tightly into the three inch and I mount it up on top. And then these guys snap in actually and stay down. And then I just pat it around a little bit you get it near the bottom and spread it out so there's more surface touching the bottom of the bag. And that's it, and just carry on. I'm almost done with this process. It's raining. Lightning a fence. It's great to have amigos. <laughs> Very productive. Uh, built a, a gate and we got the thing all fenced in so when I leave I don't have to worry about wascally wabbits and the past two days it's been a real chore I got everything planted um, I ran out of stuff out of uh, peat so I still have nine buckets that aren't full, but there it is.